friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna talk about one way to blanch and freeze your corn. I got this corn at a very good price, and so I'm gonna show you how to do it. It'll be a real quick video. Um, in the comments, I'm gonna have all the directions so you can print them out, so let's get started right now. We're gonna blanch corn on the cob, and then we're gonna put it in vacuum seal bags, and I'm gonna put it in the freezer. Now, you can can it into jars and do it in a pressure canner if you would like. Um, to save a little time today, though, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna freeze the whole corn on the cob. So if you're looking for ways to save money, this is one easy way, especially if you don't have a pressure canner or if you don't have a water bath. You can get your corn on the cob when the deals are really good from your local farmer's market or from someone who, in your neighborhood that grows corn at a really good price. And you wanna buy all that you can, don't pass it up because this is where you're gonna save your money. You can put this in the freezer, you can can it in a pressure canner if you have one, or you can water bath it. Today we're gonna do, we're gonna blanch it and we're going to vacuum seal it, which will save you money in the long run. So by buying all of this corn, um, there's only, I only do four ears for a serving because it's just me and my husband now. If we happen to have company, I just open two bags, but with the price of $2 for 12, I cannot pass it up. So um, let's get started. I'll show you how this is done. So I'll have printables down in the comments and after you watch the video, you can print it off. You can do it yourself. It'll have everything in there. Um, if you decide that you want to buy a vacuum sealer, like the one I have over here, I will also have my affiliate link in the comments. So if you click on that and buy through that, I make just a little bit of money on it. Doesn't cost you anything. Um, helps me keep my YouTube channel going. So let's figure we're gonna find when we cut the tip off that they had started, they're really ripe and they're starting to go bad on the end. So they can't get top dollar for it. That is where you save your money. You go to your local farmer's market and you look for the um, tomatoes that maybe have some spots on it that you can cut off. You look for the corn that's really cheap. You may have to throw one or two away. That's okay. You've, you've gotten the rest of it at such a really good price. You don't want to pass it up. So we're going to show you how to freeze this. We're going to blanch it first, put it in vacuum seal bags, put it in the freezer so that when winter time comes around, you've already got your corn. You're not having to buy corn in a can and pay the extra high price. You're not trying to buy fresh corn in the produce section when it's not in season and paying that high price. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and get my pot on the stove with my water in it. We need to bring it to a rolling boil. We're gonna boil our corn five to six minutes. Then we're gonna put it into a cold bath as soon as we get done. That stops the cooking. It's an ice water bath. Once you get it there, you're gonna leave it in there for about a minute to make sure that all of it, all of it stopped cooking. Then we're going to put it into our vacuum seal bags, vacuum seal it up, then throw it in the freezer and we're done. Shouldn't take very long. So stay with me. We'll uh, fast forward through a lot of this and you can see how it is. So we're gonna get our pot together. We're gonna put our hot water in it. We're gonna get it boiling and make sure it's boiling really good. We're gonna start cleaning our corn. We may not get through all of it before it starts boiling, but that's okay because we're gonna have time while it's boiling and then while we're putting it into our ice bath. We should be able to keep up with at least doing four to five ears at the time. You don't want to put too many in your pot. You want to have enough to do like one bag, get it back and sealed, do the next one until you can kind of get your, your rhythm going. And once you get your assembly line going where you're putting stuff in, you're cleaning, you're putting stuff out, vacuum sealing it, it'll all come to you. you. You can see how I get this going once we start. It's just kind of getting going that takes it a little time, but that's okay. First time through, it's going to feel a little weird. That's all right. The second time through, you're gonna be a little faster. And that's what you're here for. You're just trying to save a little bit of money by buying food at the cheaper price, but buying more of it than you normally would, putting it in the freezer so you don't have to pay for it later. So stay with me. Um, we're gonna get our water on bowl. We're gonna get our ice bath ready. We're gonna start cleaning some corn and then you can follow along. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my water on high. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt into the water. I like to cook, to cook mine a little bit with the salt already in it, so it, it's not quite as bland when you cook it the next time when you take it out of the freezer. It's up to you, you don't have to do this. This is just what I prefer. So 
So I'm gonna get my bowl to go ahead and start my ice bath and go ahead and get that started the while my water is boiling over here and then we'll start cleaning our corn. So I just got a plastic green bowl. I'm gonna get ice out of the ice maker, put some water in it so you have your ice bath ready and then we'll go ahead and start cleaning our corn. So the first time I did the video, I was too far out of the screen for people to see exactly how to shuck the corn. So I'm gonna show you now how to shuck the corn. As you can see, I have my box here on the floor. It just has my corn shucks in it. It's easier to a box or a pan or something. Just put all of your trash into it. When you get done, you take it out, you put it in the garbage. So you just take your corn, take the top, try to pull it apart a little bit, pull one side down as far as you can. If it comes off, that's fine. Take the other side, pull it down. You're gonna see this tip down here. Just break your tip off, throw it all away. Then all you're left with is your silks in between your kernels you need to clean. You need to cut your tip off and make sure you get the rest of your shucks off on the end. And that's all there is to it. Just a little bit of time to save a whole lot of money. So I've got, as you can see, I've got my pot on the stove. Um, I have my water in it. We're going to turn it on high. Um, I already have my ice bath sitting over here. I will have to add some more ice to it as we go through the As process. you can see, there's a dark tip. That's one reason your corn is going to be cheaper at the end of the season. It's starting to go bad. There's nothing wrong with it. You just have to do something to preserve it so that you don't have to eat it all in one week. But this is what we're showing you how to do today. Cut the tip, make sure you cut the other end and you have a clean end, pull out your silks, put all of that in your box, this is just the silk that is in between the kernels and you want to get as much of it off as you can. Once we get through with this, we're going to rinse the corn and get it clean, and then we're gonna put it into our hot water. So I have my four ears of corn ready. I'm gonna rinse them off. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer on my microwave and set it for five minutes. Once I drop the corn into the hot boiling water, you want at least that five minutes up to the six minutes. My corn is ready to go into the hot water. I'm going to set my timer, drop my corn, start my timer. So for my vacuum bags, I buy the roll. It's cheaper to buy a roll. I roll out about enough so that you have this much room for your corn on each end. So I'm going to cut it here. What I have found is to have an even edge. I picked up a um, picture cutter at the Goodwill. It was a dollar. So I've got this. So I'm gonna put my, my roll inside my picture cutter and I'm gonna cut it straight edge as far down as I think it should be, which is about right here. And then we'll have a big enough bag. But it's cheaper if you buy it by the roll and then you can cut your own size bag. So here's my bag, my first bag. We're gonna seal the end of it. And then once we put our corn in, we seal the other end. So as you can see, the end of my bag is sealed. Now I have a good, a good strong bag. I can put my corn in, put it in the other end. The vacuum sealer will pull all of the air out and then you will have a vacuum sealed corn fresh when you open it back up and cook it your second This time. is the best way to save money on your food to buy it from your local farmer's market, get it when you can get it at a cheaper price, you can buy more of it, you can put it up. This is just one way to do it, freezing it into vacuum seal bags. If you don't have a pressure canner or you don't have a water bath, this is a really cheaper way to at least preserve your food, save some money on your food bill. While my corn is cooking in the boiling water and my timer is going, all I'm doing is listening for my timer. I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the rest of my corn so that I can get ahead of my routine here. So my timer 
I stop, I'm gonna stop cleaning my corn where I am. I'm gonna take my corn directly out of the boiling water, put it into my ice bath. And this is what you end up with. You got your four ears of corn into your vacuum seal bag, good for a very long time in the freezer, fresh for your family when you're ready to cook it. You save money by buying fresh produce. You spend a little bit of money on the bags, but not near as much as you would if you bought the corn in a can or corn from the freezer at the grocery store. So the next time that I have a video on vacuum sealing, I'm going to be giving away a vacuum sealer free. I'm going to do a random drawing. So right now, Hit the like button on the video, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, hit all so that you know when the next time I have a video, you'll know when I'm doing my giveaways and maybe you can win you a free vacuum sealer. Thanks for joining me. Hope you join me again.